Hello, this is Dan Dozen on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you my controller setup for my summer car. I have a calibrator tool installed. Link's there on the screen. I'll stick it down below as well. Let's just get rid of that for now. And I'll show you the thing on my summer car. So you press F1. There's a little button up, up uh, that way. Yep, there it is. Yep, up in the top corner. You press that button and this appears. Uh, I've got my game resolution set low, so this looks nice and big for you on the video right now. Um, yep, so I'm pressing my controller, things are responding. If it doesn't, it's just a case of unplug your controller, plug it back in, wait a few seconds, and it'll work like a charm. So this tool allows you to set dead zones, um, outer limits, um, disable and enable controllers and also curve control. Uh, so the main thing that I'm interested in on here is uh, if I press my triggers you'll see they appear twice. So that's my left trigger appearing on axis 3 and 9 and that's my right trigger, yes right trigger, on uh, also on axis 3 and axis 10 this time. Where if you leave it like this, the game will pick up the Axis 3 by default, which is not much good to us because it's one combined control. We want them to be discrete control, so disable that. So when I go into my summer car, in fact, let me demonstrate. So if I have my throttle, see it's coming up there as Axis 3. Um, if I do my brake... So what I can't do is throttle and brake at the same time, and there's a little bit of a... Uh, jankiness in the changeover when you're switching from one to the other. Now, I don't do a lot of braking and accelerating at the same time, but it's it's good for smoothing those changeovers. So I'll disable that, uh, reassign my throttle, and reassign my brake. There we go. Right. Clutch is on uh, joystick up. I've also got a button for it there. I'll show you how to do that in Steam. This interface, quite tricky, quite hard to read, but all the information's there. Uh, just pay attention to your selected joystick in your axis. And um, so I'll just demonstrate the dead zone. I've got very little dead zone in this controller, thankfully, but I can set it to zero. You can make out a little bit of yellow, the yellow there. Set it to zero. Oh, it's showing green there because it's ever so slightly to the right. If I press this set dead zone button now, it'll set it to where it's at. Yeah, I might just have to increase that slightly. So I've got 0 0.012. Let's change that to 1.6. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So when my stick is in the middle, it's not showing me either red or green. In fact, let's just bump that up a tiny bit more to... Oops. To 0, 0, 0.002. There we go. Yeah, perfect. That's, that's snapping back into the centre, no, no worries. I've got an artificially big dead zone on my up and down, just because I use that for my clutch. I don't want to be activating it accidentally. Um, None required for my accelerators, but if I had limited range, say that was my maximum, I could hold it there. Oh, first of all, you've got to make sure you've got the right thing selected. So, selected axis one, I want to go down to number nine. So if that was my maximum, I could set my max to be there. So now when I press this trigger, I'm actually getting to the max before I've actually made it. Yeah, see, I've got a lot more travel there. In fact, you can see the number there. See, even at 0 0.7, it's on max. So I can go right up the whole way up to 1. But my controller's fine, so I'm going to uh, reset the max. Anything you do on here, remember to save. Very important. You have the ability to change your curve as well. If I go back up to the steering axis, uh, this number gamma uh, defines the curve. There we go. So that's high sen uh, sorry, low sensitivity at low input, so good for fine steering. Uh, and then it allows you to have all the range right at the ends. Uh, I'm going to set that to 1. So that's a linear input and output. I do adjust the curve in Steam, which I'll show you. 
So a quick look at my mice and my car settings. Um, a lot of my buttons are not the default, doesn't really matter, uh, but notice that I do have things set to keys. So my shift up, shift down, range, um, my lights control, I've got those, all those set to keyboard keys. Uh, which in turn are mapped through Steam to the controller. So player controls, uh, not really relevant for this video, but there they are. Okay, so now let's have a look at Steam. Bring up your game page, press controller layout. It pops up in another window, so I'll get rid of that one. Bring this window in. Okay. Um, there's my layout, but that's kind of not a lot of use to us today. Let's go into edit the layout. Uh, we have an action set here. So what an action set does is it allows you to uh, set multiple uh, functions to a button in combination with other buttons, which I'll, uh, I'll go into. So my normal face buttons, I've got um, my gear selectors. Um, this triangle button is actually pressing two buttons. So these two keys here uh, relate to, let's show you one here, um, do, 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 right bracket and left bracket. So they're actually doing both, of, that button's doing both of those functions. The reason being, there's no vehicle that has both of those functions. So the Gifu and the Tractor have range, the Satsuma has a handbrake. Uh, function on the on the but on the uh, on a button. So save myself a button. Stick them both on the same one. Uh, what else have I got? Bumpers. Uh, this is left stick up. So what that does is I've actually got t two clutch controls. So I'll show you in here. I've got a analog control for setting off, and then I use the button. That I use that while I'm changing gear because I don't want to be pushing my stick up while I'm steering. Um, the right button, hold action set layer 2. So what that means is if I click uh, up here to my next action set, it's a whole different world of functions. So if I hold this button down, I'm, I'm then into that next page of functions. So that gives me, so I've remapped these four buttons here and the D-pad to be a whole another set of functions. That's my standard A buttons. If I go to action set two, these are things like swear and give the finger. You know, all the nice things, wave. Okay, looking at my D-pad, uh, these are my lean and zoom buttons. And the this, except this one, this is the uh, get in driving mode. So nothing much going on there. But my zoom button, if I've got these the right way around, let me just see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I've got that on a toggle, which means, oh, same with these. So Q, that's another, that's a lean button. Settings, that's on a toggle. This, settings, also on a toggle. So I'll show you what that looks like on the game. So, press once, zoom in, press again, zoom out again. And same with the lean, it's quite useful driving a car. Or, uh, or the Gifu as well. So maybe you want to get into driving mode. Uh, maybe you're in the van, you want to lean left and look round. Not a very good view here, but it's a great view out the rear window of the van. Um, or you want to zoom in on that mirror, or zoom in on that mirror. It frees your, uh, your thumb up for doing steering and other good stuff. On my layer two, these are lights, indicators, wipers. Triggers, well, there's no layer two on those. We're just interested in layer one. Uh, I've got my, yeah, nothing going on here. They're just triggers. Uh, nothing going on with the curve. Joysticks, we've got the right stick as a joystick mouse. So that's how you look around with the controller. And the left joystick is just the joystick. That's the one that does my steering. Both of these, I've set the curve. So I've selected custom curve here. All these are different curves. I've selected custom. 
and then you can just drag this fade around how you like it. So down here means you've got finer control on low input. And that's what I like. Uh, go back. The the joystick mouse, that's got a similar cost, uh, response curve to it. Trap pads, I've just got a couple of uh, extra keys. So it's kind of, kind of handy to have those on this controller. Gyro, I am not using. The Steam allows you to map this little microphone button as well. Uh, so I've got that as my TV camera. Um, I've got a smoke. I've got no cigarettes right now, but um, that's on a toggle as well. Makes it easier. Can, when you, you want to take a drag, you just press the button, do a bit of driving, finish your drag, press the button again. And uh, I think that is all. All right. Hope this is helpful to somebody. Good night.